Hey guys, Misha Crossing here. Got another video for you on the save editor today. If you don't know what the save editor is, or you want to set up your 3DS and your Animal Crossing New Leaf Town to be hacked and edited with this method, uh, you need to watch my step-by-step -step hacking video. Uh, I will link it in the description box. It explains everything you need to do to get this set up and working properly. This video, we're gonna focus on changing your player info. These are your human characters that you have made in town. If you have taken uh, TPC photos for them, they will show up up here. I've only taken one for my mayor, but I also have two other characters right here. Um, and the fourth one is non-existent. And here you can alter just about everything except what they're wearing. You can change your player's name right here. That's completely safe. You can change what uh, their TPC text is, what they say in Dream Towns. You can change their gender, which will change their face options down here, and also it'll change, you know, what, what gendered pronouns the villagers refer to them as. Here you can change the tan level. There are 15 levels in the save editor for your tan, and this image that I'm displaying right now is kind of the best one I could find to indicate kind of how your tan progresses, but this you'll just kind of have to play with and save and go back into the game and play with it until you get the exact skin tone you want, and this tan won't fade. You'll keep it until you change it in here again. Your hairstyle, you can have a male or female hairstyle regardless of the gender that you select up here, and every time you change the hairstyle, it'll change the icon right here, which is really, really helpful. And of course, hair color here, every time you click to change it, it will change the little icon right here. And the same with eye color. Got all the options here. And same with your face, you got different numbers and the little icon beside it changes to the face as you change it. Like I said, when you change your gender, it will change the face options down here. You can change their birthday, you can change when they were first registered in the town. Now, all these cheats down here are pretty much to max out everything. You can max out your bank to 999 million, 999,999 bells. You can max out your island medals. Uh, it says this feature is experimental. I haven't tried this one. Normally, the save editor's experimental features are completely fine, um, but just be sure to check the comments in case anybody says that this caused problems for them. You can max out your meow coupons. You can completely fill your encyclopedia. Uh, you can't completely fill your museum with the save editor. You can just max out your encyclopedia, but you can, of course, give yourself any item um, you want, including bugs. So you can, uh, bugs and fish and, and fossils and art. So you can find out what you need in the museum and give them to yourself and then go donate them. Uh, but you can't hack them in with the save editor. Sorry if you hear ruffling behind me, my cat is playing in uh, uh, an Amazon box. She's just having a grand old time. You can unlock all your emotions. Again, this one says it's experimental. I'm sure it's fine, but just be safe just in case. Changing your TPC pick, you can pretty much upload uh, any picture that you want, uh, and it's safe, but it could get you banned from Club Tortimer. If you like to play on Club Tortimer a lot, um, that could get you flagged and, and banned on there, so be careful. Down here are all your character's house exterior options. You can change the house style, the actual exterior, the roof, the door, whether it's arched or the squared off door, the fence, the pavement, and the mailbox. I've played with this a little bit, and it's been kind of weird. Like, it'll edit the exterior for right when I load in the game, but then the next day a couple of the features changed back, and also whenever I changed an exterior, Tom Nook thought that something was under construction, even when I hadn't like paid him for an exterior or an expansion or anything like that. So maybe just do one at a time or get your house to the level that you want before changing your exterior. You can also import and export uh, custom design patterns here if you want. Now they have to be in a specific file type for the save editor, um, so you can't just go uploading any picture or a QR code. So that basically means that one of your characters is going to have to have the designs in their pockets for you to give them to another player unless you can get a file uh, in this file type from another player. But whatever QR code you want on whatever character you want, you just scan it into the player that has unlocked the sewing machine, click on it, uh, click, click export pattern, it'll download it down here or wherever it downloads things to on your computer. It's a .acnl file and then you can 
go to another player and select one of their designs and press import pattern and you can go and find that pattern in here there's mossy stone spring 3.ac now open it up and there it is in there for your character to use over here you can edit all of your badges to whatever level you want you can go through and completely max them all out to be gold uh, every time you click on them it changes from blank to bronze to silver to gold uh, so have at it. Down here is fun. This is where you can redecorate your player's rooms. Now be warned, don't put an item in a room that you don't already have or in a space where the room isn't fully expanded to yet. That will definitely glitch your game. Putting items in here is basically like putting items on your map. You just search for the item in here. Say I wanted a cabin bed. Sure, I'd select the cabin bed and click on it right here. Also here you can change what wall and what floor and what song is playing in the room. I'd say you have to have an actual music player in the room for the song to associate with. So similar to the map editor and anything else, just don't do anything that the game wouldn't really logically allow. If it seems weird or funky, it's probably going to be something that'll glitch your game. If it's something that you're really not sure about, like I always say, just experiment with it. Always make a backup of your save file, but in this specific instance, just make a backup on your computer, go into the save editor, edit this one specific thing that you're not sure about, if it'll glitch your game or not, or not uh, then insert it into your game and see if it, if it glitches anything. If everything runs smoothly, then you'll know you can edit whatever you just experimented with, um, but if it glitches your game, you can just restore it with your backup and know not to do that again. But one tip, you can rotate items in your room by right-clicking on the item and then left-clicking on it. So as you can see, right-click, didn't change anything, but after I right-click, I left-clicked on it and now it's facing, if it's blank with no arrow on it, that means it's facing forward. Um, any other direction it'll have an arrow on it. I don't know why it says watered, that way it says buried, that way it doesn't say anything, and that way it doesn't say anything. I don't know why. It says similar things for like my bookshelf and things like that. And I mean, it's safe to use this decorating tool, just be careful. Just spawn a couple items at a time. Like I said, don't spawn anything in rooms that aren't there or beyond what they're expanded to at the time. You can't expand your house in the save editor, you have to do that manually in the game, but you can give yourself unlimited bells and time travel in order to expand your house in, you know, a few minutes. And I think that's it. I didn't touch on their dressers, but obviously you can just spawn things like you would on the map. Just go up here and select whatever item you want, and you can put it in your character's pockets. You can put it anywhere in their dressers. This is the secret storage room. Um, so this character doesn't have the storage room unlocked, but it still has the option to save editor. I would say don't put anything in a storage room, like the secret storage that you get from, from Nook and Lottie. Margo! She's like <laughs> moving her bowl of water around. Yeah, just don't put anything in the secret extra storage room for a character that doesn't actually have it unlocked. Other than that, you can add things to your island box or, um, the rest of your storage just fine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry, in some of my videos about the save editor, I have to like correct things that I say with either text on the screen or in a comment or an annotation because the save editor is, I mean, it's not something that comes with a how-to guide. It's a hacking application and it requires a lot of experimentation to really figure out everything about and it's something that really this community is more teaching each other about. So there are going to be people in the comments that have little bits of information that I don't necessarily have. So definitely always read the comments. Um, always read the description box. I'll probably have a little bit more info and some links to certain things in there. No one's really complained about me correcting information. I just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you all for being so lovely and wonderful and, and helpful with all of this. I'll be back up with a new video soon. If you want to follow my other social media, links are in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.